so already we covered uh, uh, how to read config file uh, within a project folder and uh, you can you know, uh, add your config file outside of uh, the project folder also somewhere <coughs> somewhere in the uh, network drive or shared drive yeah shared drive folder okay that's a one type the other type we covered how to uh, retrieve the config data from a SQL database that is also we covered okay and there is a one more uh, place we can store our uh, data okay that is called uh, uh, storage bucket okay in orchestrator and if you go to your tenant okay I am into my orchestrator and if you go to your tenant and there will be a concept called storage bucket okay you see here in the your orchestrator uh, go to tenant and here you see storage bucket <coughs> okay storage bucket is nothing okay nothing bad it's a place where you can store your files okay it might be your config file it might be your uh, uh, bot you know uh, input file okay you can store it here okay so as of now here you can store only the text file okay the notepad file and maybe you will get you know the future uh, to load the xlsx and other file format here okay so the text in the sense you can store a text file and pdf file and uh, images here but uh, the only for uh, excel we cannot load it as of, as of, as of now okay <coughs> and even uh, you are taking the screenshot right that screenshot also you can store it here and uh, uh, you can store any text file you can store any pdf file yeah those kind of uh, files you can store it except uh, xlsx now i want to store some of the config data here and from here to i want to access you know to my studio let's say usually what we will do so at the time of you no know, read uh, config data we used to you know initialize all the variables and then we use read range workbook activity to read our config data from uh, excel and if we go with the uh, sql database automation i mean the sql um, config and here we uh, you know we used to invoke run query and that query you know it will uh, fetch all your uh, data and it will store it in a data table then it will be you know continue further right now the same thing we are going to replace only this read range okay instead of read range we are going to replace some other activity to bring the uh, file from storage bucket okay that i am going to create a new sequence okay init init all settings storage bucket okay click create and here i'm going to uh, uh, i'm not going to cover the entire thing okay uh, so you guys know try it you know uh, all the flows like you no know, read uh, config as such everything then i i will tell you how to uh, know uh, bring those uh, uh, storage bucket uh, config data into a table okay from there in the from after no table if i you know uh, reached out to this table and you can uh, able to go with the, this activity you no know, just you no know, copy paste and uh, go here okay before uh, you know, uh, start building our workflow and we have to you know, create uh, our uh, storage bucket and uh, go to your uh, orchestrator and click on storage bucket and here you have an option click uh, I mean add storage bucket and click on create a new storage bucket and here <coughs> we have to give our uh, storage bucket name okay so let's say uh, this process name I, I, I'm going to give you know the process name like you no know, insurance client okay insurance climb and description you can give uh, the description and uh, so label also you can give you no know, uh, based on your the process title and here there are three storage bucket i mean the three i mean three uh, uh, storage place one is azure uh, storage aws amazon s3 and if you have uh, access uh, for azure storage and you can choose this database to store your files 
and I'm default you know, going to uh, uh, this orchestrator storage okay uh, database and I click on add now you have created a storage bucket okay and uh, still you are not added any files you know, within a storage bucket okay let's uh, go back to uh, studio and uh, so here i have three files with me okay in the data folder i have a uh, three files uh, that is a text file one is same like you know settings and constant and asset and email template so here you see uh, so i have added that you know uh, my config data <coughs> name column and value column description but you know in the middle uh, of the column i i added the slash okay for uh, to know my uh, uh, column split okay and these are the first column name column and the value then the description this is how i need to add with the slash okay and here also email template same okay added uh, in a notepad you can just you no know, copy uh, from your uh, uh, excel and you can add only slash uh, in between your columns and column values okay and here also asset okay i created these three text file i'm going to load these three text file copy this okay and also go here in the orchestrator and go inside okay here and you need to upload files right so let me go back to the folder and here you see copy that and go back to studio and not studio of uh, this folder and select the uh, assets okay and let me select the settings and constant first and click open and upload it okay it's uploaded settings and again upload for uh, email template click upload and again click upload assets okay i uploaded all three files now here that's creating the storage bucket and uploading the files you know uh, the step is over now go back to studio and uh, so in order to read the uh, files from a storage bucket and we need to uh, you know uh, look look for the activity so let me add it like you know storage okay if I start typing storage here, there is a uh, under the storage, there are uh, many options here. You can delete storage files, you can download storage file, you can uh, list storage files, you can read storage file, upload storage file, write storage text, anything you can do. Okay, because storage bucket is a concept where you can store our files. Okay, for uh, uh, let's say you know, it's a centralized location. So now in my case i am going to use this read storage text okay so here i need to uh, give the storage bucket name first go back to orchestrator and uh, so this is my storage bucket name copy this <coughs> and this is within double quotes i added the storage bucket name. then path okay let's say this is for settings and constant okay and i'm going to copy that path inside there is a settings and constant copy this is the path okay and copy this and within double quotes add it okay so here you see uh, we used a read uh, storage uh, text settings file i mean the read storage text uh, then we need to create a variable here control k that is str settings str settings and constants okay enter and now this is done and uh, now after that here i'm getting a my my i'm getting no my output is as a string if in order to you uh, know uh, store in uh, store all the column value I mean the key values in a dictionary variable I need a data table right then I want to convert this text into data table so for that what is the activity if you go to data table okay data table 
here you see there is an activity called generate data table from text okay so if you provide a text input and it will you know convert all your text as a um, table okay so let's uh, go to this option here there is a sample input and you can test it you know using your input and i'm going back to this data and i'm taking any one of this asset i'm taking this and going here okay going back to studio and here i'm pasting it okay and here in the right side table option you can see auto detect columns types and you can uh, so I want to use my first row as a column editor. click on it and then here in the format so I'm going to give a CSV comma separated value and here I have to mention that uh, column separator okay what is the column separator here I, I added slash I'm going to give this and if you click preview and here you see Amazon URL Amazon um, uh, yeah this is the amazon url and uh, finance department the description everything will be scripted as a column okay now it's working fine even you can add art or you can add a comma comma we cannot add it because sometimes the uh, description also you know, comes with a comma and this is better now you can add a slash or art okay then everything is working fine and i click ok okay and here i'm going to pass input str uh, settings and constant which is so we are getting from this uh, read storage text uh, um, activity and then after that I need a, a data table okay to store the data table dt again settings and constant okay enter now the data table created and you can see uh, the data after I may I can use for each to test it for each just to test it okay and here I'm going to give a DT settings and constant so I'm going to write only one value in the right line and uh, drag and drop right line and uh, let me call it a current row of zero okay zero dot post okay now everything is done let's see how it is uh, uh, printing your value and i'm going to remove this and i click ok and uh, let's execute this step into and step into okay read storage text now this activity it has been executed and see the text uh, output and here you see it's retrieved all the details from a storage bucket text file okay then step into and it should you no know, here now we are converting our text uh, as a data table so if you go and see data table here and here it's converted as a data table and for testing purpose we added a for each and we are writing here see product name and step into so coming uh, system except email exception to these are the first column value it's retrieving it okay and uh, this is how uh, so we can retrieve our config data from a storage bucket to uh, studio and here I used uh, for settings and constant same like no you can use uh, the same approach for asset the same approach for email notification it's very simple here we are now initializing our uh, dictionary variable and I, so just remove this for uh, uh, each configuration sheet and in, remove this read range instead of read range you have to place these two uh, activity and the same like you know, here also in the asset also remove this read range uh, replace these two activities okay and here also in the email template also uh, yeah, here in the read config uh, email template remove this read range you can replace this okay so as of now you are uh, you know you are uh, you know, definitely you know aware of how to read config file within a folder project i mean within a project folder and how to read config uh, um, you know it, uh, how to access config in outside of a shared drive folder and how to get config data from sql database and how to read config data from a storage bucket okay
आई होप